Let's take a look at the intermolecular forces for hexane, that's C6H14. So the first thing we ask when we're looking at these intermolecular forces here, we want to know if there are any ions present. So when we look at hexane here, see we have carbon and hydrogen. Both of these are non-metals, so we're going to have covalent bonds. We won't have any ions present for C6H14, for hexane. So no, we don't have any ions present. So let's just cover this bit up here. And then we want to know, do we have any polar molecules? So is hexane a polar molecule? It helps to look at the molecular structure. So here's hexane, the blacks, those are the carbons, the whites are the hydrogens. Carbon and hydrogen, they have fairly similar electronegativities. And because of that, we really don't have any difference in electronegativity. So we have nonpolar bonds here. And the whole molecule is symmetrical. So we do not have any polar bonds. So we end up with London dispersion forces here for the intermolecular forces for hexane, C6H14. Do note that because hexane is a pretty long molecule, there's a lot of opportunities for these London dispersion forces to happen between molecules. So when we look at the boiling point of hexane, or these alkanes here, these hydrocarbons, as you add more carbons, they get longer. You can have more London dispersion forces. The boiling point increases. So hexane, that's a liquid at room temperature, where something like ethane or methane, where we only have one or two carbons, that would be a gas. This is Dr. B looking at the intermolecular forces for hexane, C6H14. Thanks for watching.